Wake up! It's the first of the month. Every day you wake up, it's not always gonna be a good day, but every day it's a blessing. I feel like it's time. I need to do something. So this is my favorite, okay? It's my favorite so far. Okay, so here's the problem. So but is off the market. Hi guys! I'm so excited to tell you guys that I'm moving out to a new apartment in LA. I'm moving to LA. Okay, without further ado, this video is gonna be super helpful, full of resources and tips for y'all out there who are also apartment hunting. So that's why we're making apartment hunting video. And just so you know, I'm already back from all the apartment hunting and stuff. So I'm confident that I can give y'all some bits of my wisdom. Before we get to the video in literally two seconds, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment anything. Comment anything. But make sure to like and subscribe, okay? Because I know some of y'all watching this and not even subscribing. Okay, this video is going to be divided into four chapters. Chapter number one is going to be my reason for moving out and also moving to LA. Number two is going to be my apartment merch halves and slash non-negotiables and the criteria and what I'm looking for in an apartment. Number three is going to be individual apartment tours and recap. I went to film. Ah! Just so you know, I went to 15, I scheduled 15 apartment tours. But I went to 10, cause some of them canceled on me. But I will tell you guys about that later. Anyways, back to the structure. And chapter four is gonna be tips and things I wish I knew about the apartment hunting process as well as red flags to look for in apartments, etc., etc. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the num chapter number one, which is the reason why I'm moving out. So to give you guys a little context, if you guys are familiar with my videos, you're probably know that I'm currently a freeloader at my friend's house on Long Island and I've been living here since beginning since the end of May so it has been almost four months since I moved here and I've been freeloading at my friend's family house and I live in their little barn. Y'all will get a full tour when I do like a moving out vlog or something. So the reason I'm moving out is first of all, I've been living here for four months and I got to the point, it's like in a little town in on Long Island so there's not much to do. And I go to an LA fitness and as much as I love all of my gym friends, I feel like literally my gym friends and the family I'm living, living with, they're so nice, they're amazing people. Those are the only things that would keep me here because I feel like like, this has come to a point that is just my comfort zone and I want to do more you know how growth is on the other side of your comfort zone and I feel like I got to the point where I'm just too comfortable living here I'm too comfortable freeloading I'm too comfortable creating the same content go to the same gym and doing the same thing every day which is not really much I've been only going to the gym making content touch grass here and there but that's it like I don't really interact with anyone I don't network I don't meet anyone outside of the gym and I feel like it got to the point where I need to move to the new space to feel inspired for my content and to meet new people and also for like a lifestyle because I feel like I'm not I feel I'm not maxing out on life where I live here even though I'm literally so grateful to be able to like stay at my friend's family house but I feel like it's time I need to do something because I'm growing out of this phase of my life where I just saving money and hibernating I feel like this period of time is crucial because after college when I graduated fresh out of college I, I did not have money to move out so I was so grateful to have this period of my life to save money and stuff but I feel like now I feel like I'm financially able to move out and have my own place but I've been like you know I just been telling people literally I just been telling people the whole summer oh I move out in October or something but I never started like actually making concrete steps towards moving out until I was reading I've been reading this book called the daily stoic is about stoicism anyway so we are here continuing the vlog and at my gym's um, parking lot so we are still standing we're still standing on business okay okay I was talking about the stoicism book I was reading this is the daily stoic book on page 143 it says you will only get one shot at today you have only 24 hours with which to take it and then it is gone and lost forever will you really inhabit all of today will you call out I've got this and do your very best to be your very best what will you manage to make of today before it slips from your fingers and becomes a past when someone asks you what you did yesterday do you really want the answer to be nothing brother what I say I've been I feel like I've been like I've been on Long Island I do nothing but go to the gym go home and make content like I don't want my 
my future self to look back and try to remember what I was doing on a random day on September 20th, like 18th. And I would just literally go gym, go home and do nothing. And like literally on my phone editing videos. That was a nice period for like saving money and stuff. But I, I think that's it. I got to the point where I was pushed to start taking steps towards moving out. So I decided that I need to set a date. Like October is going to be the first week of October, even though it's like beginning of August and I haven't started doing anything. But I was like, yes, I'm moving out beginning of October. And I started looking. And the reason I wanted to move to LA is um, I like to think of life as like not destinations, but there's just journey. I'm not moving to LA to live there forever. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions about LA, but I feel like as a younger person, I have the freedom and the ability to move to wherever I want to be. So because it's finally financial viable or financially makes sense, I want to move to LA because I can, because why not? In my early 20s, I want to live in big cities like New York, LA, or whatever. So I feel like it just makes sense to move to LA. And life is not like about destination. It's about trials and errors. So I will give myself a year in LA and see how far, how, how much I can grow my career and my lifestyle and all that. And we'll go from there. So it's not that deep. Like it's not like, well, why are you even moving to LA? Why are you trying to be like an other influencers? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm still gonna be a little relatable, little big nans. I'm still gonna shop at Aldi and shit, okay? Like, because I moved to LA doesn't mean that I'm gonna start shopping at Air One or whatever, okay? Okay, before talking about my must-haves, non-negotiables, and what I'm looking for in an apartment, let's talk real quick about the apartment hunting process. So I feel like in my system, there are four main steps when it comes to choosing your future home. Step number one is researching. Step number two is scheduling apartment tours. Step number three is touring the apartments and recap. And step four is making the decision. But I would talk about this more at the end when about like tips and stuff like that. But for now, let's jump right in. Chapter two, which is my non-negotiables and what I'm looking for in an apartment. Okay, so my non-negotiables and must-haves for me, the first number one thing, of course, we're going to talk about the budget, okay? So I know that the number I'm about to tell you guys is literally crazy, but compared to like LA rent, it makes sense. Like for LA, if you have a roommate, you'll save a lot more money. But if you live by yourself, I mean, it's still ridiculous, but but it's LA. So like, what do you expect? Is I consider it as an investment in my life and my career. So the budget that I have is about 3000 to thirty. 500 but if there's any apartment that i really really like and it's a little pricier i'm fine with it as well all right must have number two it has to be in a safe neighborhood because as a girl living by myself i'm just a girl and as a girl living by myself i care a lot about safety like i want to be able to like be comfortable walking around running errands without being scared of getting kidnapped or getting robbed or something and i want to be able to like feel safe in like my environment and like take a walk here and there you know so it needs to be in safe neighborhood so i was mainly looking at the next must have one bedroom and one bath because you know i'm just one person i don't need anything more than that number four it has to be an apartment complex because again safety is very important for me and i feel like as a content creator especially i don't want to live in like a house i feel like apartment complex is like harder to access and it's like i is just just for safety reasons literally go chat gpt why apartment complexes are safer than standalone apartments hi charlie for apartment complex Complexes, they're like gated access, so only community me community members can get in, and I like it more than like versus standalone apartment where you literally you can literally break in anyone's house if you want to. Okay, so that's number four. Number five, must have is apartment has to be bigger than 700 square footage. There are several reasons to this, but I guess for me, the biggest reason is I'm a content creator, and literally my living space is also gonna be my working space. So I need a spacious space where I feel. Feel like I feel inspired and I feel like I'm not like trapped in like a box cell it has to be bigger than 700 square footage number six must have is laundry dryer and laundry in the unit like I need my apartment to have like laundry and dry laundry machine what's the machine called laundry machine and dryer in the unit because I got no energy to bring my laundry to like a freaking laundry room and like wait till everyone else like mm, I I got got enough of that in college so I need a dryer and washer dry and washer in unit so that's my number six must have the next one number seven is the mailroom because as a content creator I constantly receive
these packages from brands like literally every week like i receive like two or three packages every day so i don't want my no none of my packages to get stolen so i would love where i live to have a mailroom but since i was thinking of apartment complexes 99 percent of the time apartment complexes have mailroom anyway so that's another reason i like apartment complexes number eight criteria is they need to have parking so just so you know this is not my car this is my friend's car they're letting me drive it for free this whole summer but i will be leasing a car when i move to la it's gonna be a toyota prius so i need a parking spot because like yo girl is not the best at parking and i don't want to park on the street and i don't want to get robbed on the street like I, I i just need a parking spot and the final criteria must have is they need to have big windows and natural lighting see again um for some people like natural lighting and big windows don't matter as much but as a content creator myself i need big windows and natural lighting to be filming content whenever i want and also direct sunlight is very important for your health and happiness because i feel like the barn that i'm living living in right now there's not enough sunlight and that really affects my mood and my mental health like this past summer and also like, i need the natural light to like so like, i can wait the ff in the morning okay so on top of those must-haves and non-negotiables some nice to haves are the first one is quiet space and higher up again as a content creator i don't want to be like living next to the street where it's like constantly noises honk noises and people on the street like i don't want any of that i want it to be quiet preferably a higher up space the second nice to have is a big walk-in closet i feel like it would be nice as well because i feel like i would be receiving a lot of like clothes from my sponsor my clothing sponsor so big walk-in closet would be nice next one is a decent gym i'm 99 percent sure i would have like a gym membership somewhere else but um for the days where i don't feel like getting ready or like for the days for some reason i it's just always nice to have like a gym inside the apartment okay the next nice to have is window veils why this is not super important but it's really nice to like not having to look at like some ugly app buildings when you look through the windows you know and the last one nice to have is storage space i mean i don't have that much stuff because i literally don't have own any furniture or anything so it would be not be that big of an issue but it would be nice for like future use if i have like big storage space big storage spaces in the house okay let's talk a little bit about timeline i was planning to move in beginning of october so i started looking at apartments online beginning of august i continued looking for like two like like the, the second half of august the housing market moves really fast so i don't recommend looking at like housing online anywhere like sooner than a month out okay so the last two weeks of august i've been looking at apartments on apartments.com and zillow.com and and literally i looked through hundreds of apartments i were able to stick to my must-haves and it helped me el eliminate a lot of apartments in the hundreds because there are a lot of filters that you can use i was looking at hella apartments i don't even want to think about it again because that was a lot i looked through a lot of apartments but it's okay i will talk to you guys more about the tips at the end but i were able to finalize to 15 apartments that i really liked and i scheduled actually it was 20 but i was only able to schedule like 15 tours but i only ended up going to 10 tours because some of them canceled on me the day of because they were leased literally the day of so keep in mind that you need to like give yourself plenty of options because apartment could be like leased any day and maybe the day that you're supposed to tour like they were leased so have like plenty of options okay people might think like 10 15 of them is a lot but see i only ended up going to 10 but like, without further ado these are the individual tours that y'all been waiting for and i'll be including the square footage and the pricing each of them as well okay bye guys okay guys documentation time is currently 31st of august it's about to turn september and in 30 days our life will be sorry about the dirtiest screen completely different i'm gonna live in a different place next month brother i'm about to fill in this list of apartment that i'm interested in i've been using zillow.com and apartments.com to look at the options for apartment complexes in la and i've had about like 30 options saved in my favorite so far i'm not going to show you guys which ones but we are going to list 30 options right here and tomorrow i'm going to make calls and and schedule a tour in person let's go this is real what the heck okay guys we are five minutes away from our first ever apartment tour very excited looking five minutes late to the appointment but it's all right i have an appointment a tour at one at two at 3 45 and at five can't wait 
pick my future home, okay? I'll show you guys how it looks like in a second. Okay guys, first apartment tour went really well. Time for a little recap. Let's give apartments nicknames, okay? The nickname of the apartment is gonna be the casino. But what I have in mind so far is what stood out to me is such a nice neighborhood. Like the houses look so nice and I see people walking their dogs and it seems like a really, really nice neighborhood, which makes sense that it's like the price range is more expensive. Looking at like units with like 36, 50 to like 4,000 but it makes sense because it's super nice neighborhood and it's like a super nice building as well and I really like the, the the interior of the buildings and the aesthetic and I like this apartment but I don't like it enough to pay like 3,700 a month for it like utilities on top of that is gonna be 4,000 per month so like do I like it that much? We'll find out when we see the rest of the apartments. Okay, it will be a 10 without the price. The maximum I'm gonna give it is a nine, but since it's pricey, I'm not minus one. So it's gonna be eight. I'll give it an eight out of 10, okay? I mean, if it was cheaper, it's gonna be definitely like my top pick. But since it's like more, it's like pricier side of the apartments that I looked at, I'm still like, me, you know so the next apartment i'm going to is the one in my top picks okay so i have like a list of 15 apartments that i'm going to and four of them made it to the top picks one i have topics very interested someone interested and the next one is the top pick one so i really really hope that i would not be catfish i really hope that it's actually look nice okay okay guy apartment number two tour is done we're gonna call it the steroids okay because it it just came up so randomly because the leasing agent was showing me two apartments and one of them is a smaller one and the bigger one he called it it's like yeah imagine like the second apartment is the first apartment on steroids so we're gonna call this apartment the steroids so this is my favorite okay the steroids is my favorite so far i've been only two but the steroid is calling because the price is and it's close to gold gym there's literally a gold gym like two minutes drive away okay i i really like this guys i really really like the top floor unit it's way more decent price than the last one the first one than the casino that we saw it's only like 3200 for like almost 800 square footage which is like way a hundred more than the other one but like almost like 500 600 dollars less expensive i think it's because the casino have more amenities like it, it looks fancier and stuff but this time i seen i think the room is so nice even though the building is that way doesn't really matter if the building looks good you know because i would just be in my room anyways and one more cons of this the steroids is that they don't have business room conference room and stuff so basically i should just sit in my room and do work most of the time and i don't have other like space to do work really or film youtube video which the casino had it's like a lot of spaces for that but it's okay guys i like this apartment and the thing is like i thought each billing is gonna take like an hour so i literally scheduled the appointments like an hour apart it turns out it only like took 15 minutes for the appointment so my my next appointment is now until 3.45 and it's only 2.30 but I'm still gonna you know show up and then hi can you just do it early I'll keep you guys updated okay guys apartment number three done i want to call this apartment the screaming lady because there was this lady screaming at some point but the screaming actually the yelling lady because it's easier to say like that i really really like this apartment like i think the building is my favorite building so far this larger apartment complex it's like they have like 900 something rooms so it's like really huge and the amenities are amazing the pools and literally the outdoor space like everything is perfect the building is 10 out of 10. The prices are also decent. I got a lot of like decent deals. I think today so far, my favorite, that one is my favorite so far. I feel like after every apartment tour, I, I'd be like, yeah, that's my favorite. I would apply for that. But my only concern is the favorite unit that I looked at, it was facing the metro. So it was facing like Oakley building. I mean, it's not the end of the world. And also they don't didn't have the, my favorite unit didn't have the balcony. Okay, so here's the problem. A lot of the units are nice, but the issue is the bedrooms, they're not facing the window the bedrooms are like inside the unit like there's no windows on the bedrooms but there are, there are balconies in those units but i'm like you know 
know what? I need a bedroom full of natural light. So like when I, I can wake up in the morning, I need to like wake up, you know, because without light, I can't wake up. So the only unit available with like bedroom with natural light is the one that face facing the metro. I'm like, mm, like, 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 will the scenery make me depressed or like, is it worth it? As long as there are light, you know, like, I will show you guys. You guys will see in the video. Also, another thing is the location of this place. The leasing manager, he was very honest about this building is in the border of, um, which is a super nice area, and which is not as nice area. So that's something to consider too. Can't wait for the last apartment of day one, okay? We got this, we're gonna power through. Okay, bye. Bye, 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 bye. All right, guys, last apartment for day one. Let's call this apartment Miss Late, okay? Because I was late for the appointment. Miss Late was... Mm, I feel like I've seen so much apartments today. So, like, at this point, I'm just like... I'm just like... My brain's like... like I'm starting getting cranky, so it's harder for me to feel like an apartment is nice, okay? I think it's kind of like basic, like the amenities are nice, but it's just giving hospital, it's giving office, it's not giving like cute little, cute little community. I'm looking for something that's like giving more like warm, like it's warm and it's like more like little unique, you know, this just look is so basic. It's such a basic building and the price is ridiculous. I'm saying like 4000 for like a 600 square footage room mm -mm, mm -mm. even though the top floor room is so nice and i i love it but then i don't love it enough to make up for the fact that the building is so basic and it's so expensive there's no way i'm spending four thousand a month on rent okay so this apartment is a no day one recap i think the first one and the four, fourth one which is what's the first one the casino and miss late i would cross them off the list so we're considering steroids and the yelling lady okay that's it for day one guys i'm tired i'm hungry i just want to eat something you know so see you later bye good morning welcome to day two of apartment hunting you guys the recap of um what's been going on since last night yesterday i was so sure after seeing the third apartment that is gonna be my dream apartment i was I, I was like yes this is the one and then i was gonna like, apply to it last night but then i was randomly looking up reviews on google and it's like Shit. my dream apartment it got 3.1 stars out of five so it was a little red flag but like all the complaints are all about like the management they don't fix stuff on time blah blah blah, blah. okay so it's still like you know it's still mm, i can still like mm. but then i realized that the two apartments that are available that my dream apartments they're north facing so i'm like oh <laughs> so after doing research i realized that it's important for your apartment to be south or west facing because it's gonna help with like natural lighting because i'm like easily affected by like the sun okay no longer a dream apartment that's not the end of the world because we still have day two and day three to go through so i haven't applied to that apartment yet but i still have well i still i will still have it in the back of my mind but no one gonna drive apartment but it's okay because today we go into six apartments and tomorrow we're going to four more so it's okay the hope is still high and i have my standards so broker i forgot to mention that one of the apartments that i looked at yesterday they're already gone by this morning i'm like what the heck that is just crazy but luckily that was not my favorite apartment anyway so it's okay but it's just crazy crazy how this like housing and stuff moves so okay i'll keep you guys updated on today's tours okay bye okay hello guys but i just had two back-to-back -back apartment viewings apartment tours so that's why we're just doing two tours recap in one but it's in the same neighborhood it's literally three minutes walk away from each other apartment five that we toured nickname is gonna be no water miss no water and it this seems like a really safe neighborhood this is the favorite neighborhood that i've been in so far the two apartments that i just viewed, i think their amenities are okay but at the end of the day does amenities really matter that much but I feel like it's more important to like the building in general and like the apartments rather than liking the amenities. The second apartment I tour is like, it, I was a little hesitant because it's on the ground floor, but it's not facing the street or something. It's facing the pool, so it's not too bad. And I'm really thinking about applying to that. 
Okay, quick recap for these two apartments. I think I really liked the neighborhood. I liked the building. I didn't like absolutely love it, but I liked it enough to like, yeah, I can see myself living here. I feel like every apartment I've seen so far, everything has like something that's like, eh. you know, like nothing has been perfect. This could be a tip. Literally asking every other leasing agents what they think about the neighborhood or the areas of the other place you liked. Six apartment tours done. Hello guys, guess what? The two apartment tours that I'm going at 12 and at 1, they just canceled on me. You know why? It's because either the apartment, the unit just recently got leased and they have no unit to show for me. But it's okay, everything happens for a reason. So it just saved me time. Okay, I saved two hours. But luckily, the apartment tours that I was supposed to have at 2, they are able to move it earlier. So I'm not wasting any time. I'm literally heading straight there right now. So... Thank goodness, everything happened for a reason. I really like this one on third floor and the aesthetic of the building. The building is new, it's built three months ago and it's half occupied. So it's really empty and it's gonna be quiet. So that's a plus. But also the fact that it's just got built, I'm like, but the amenities are not that amazing. There's no pool. There's only the, the gym and the working lounge, the working space. I love the aesthetic, but also for the amenities given, like, is it really worth 3800 But I really like the room though, and the view is amazing. I like the view the most. The, the windows view is like my favorite out of all the places I've seen. The eighth one, let's just not talk about it at all anymore because it's meh, and I'm not even gonna consider it. I have a tour, apartment tour scheduled for 12 tomorrow, but I was wondering if you guys have any availability the rest of the day today. Basically, I'm done with all the apartment tours early because two of them canceled on me and two of them, it's like sisters. So I'm trying to get some of the apartment tomorrow squeezed in today too so I could be done viewing. Okay guys, apartment tour number, apartment number seven. We're gonna call this one Miss No Gym because there's no gym in this miss no gym which is not biggest deal to be honest because i was gonna get a gym membership somewhere else anyways but it's just nice to have the gym like in the apartment sometimes i like the apartment i like the unit except it's smaller than what i was looking for prior i was looking for like 700 to 800 square footage but this one is only 630 something but the room doesn't look that small but the also like the price is so reasonable because um, you know it's small but i'm like is it gonna be too small for me but the view is nice though it's on fourth floor so the view is nice the view is like one of the most decent ones out of all the ones i've seen so far so this is definitely gonna make it to the top of my list this area seems nice too excuse me do you live in this area yes do you think this area is nice like Very. a n nice neighborhood yes yeah? Yeah, yeah yeah and is it safe to like walk around and stuff uh, more so than a lot of areas that are east of here like that way east got it because i'm like looking for apartments and i'm like gonna be moving out on my own so like my biggest concern is like safety so i would love to like live in like like a safer one of the safer nicer neighborhood too uh -huh. i was able to squeeze a lot of the tours tomorrow into today as well because i'm done with all the tours day early and two of them canceled on me so i have like maybe two more to see very excited okay bye i'll keep you guys updated I just got tacos. I just got street tacos. So I'm waiting for that right now. And I just visited Miss Clueless. I'm already 99% sure that I'm not going to choose this one because the building was meh. I like the apartment, but the thing is, the leasing agent, she doesn't work there. She's only, like, in for the day-to-day -to, -day to, like, help out because, like, the leasing agent of the place is busy or something. But she's only replacing for the day. So, basically, she was so clueless. Like, she was, like, I'm like, what, the hell? what was that? But, I mean, it's the sign of the universe because everything happens for a reason. It's the sign of the universe. It's the universe stopping me from picking this place. So, buy Miss Clueless is off the market okay i will see you guys okay i hope you guys enjoyed the tour so far and we're coming to chapter three where i'll tell three or four where i'll tell you guys about tips and things i wish i knew about the apartment hunting process first of all we're going to talk about mentality y'all need to understand that this is just not 
is not just like shopping for like a piece of clothing, okay? This is shopping for your future apartment, your future home. Like it doesn't matter how much time it takes, you need to take as much time as you need to really consider all the criteria and really looking to find like your future dream home. It's an apartment that you're gonna be spending your time, your life for like a year. So you can't just like throw it, okay? You need to like put as much time as you need into that. And I did, I put a lot of time and effort into this and I was so proud of myself for finding my future home. And I would love for you guys to comment your guesses down below. Guess which apartment I went with. Tee -hee. So my tip number one is do a lot of research. Do the research about the areas that you're planning to live in, the crime rate and the apartment itself and the unit you're living in. For me, what helps was like watching YouTube videos about apartment hunting in LA. So I have a sense of like, oh, what other people looking for in their apartments? Cause I have no idea what to look for in an apartment. All of these criteria I came up because I watched other people videos and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Like, I need to take that into consideration too. Or like, actually it doesn't matter to me. I formed my own list based on like other people experiences and stuff and make it like fun instead of like it's not a chore it's you have the privilege to make your own decisions and move out like this is fun brother okay my second tip is keep track use a system to keep track of everything because I know a lot I looked through hundreds of apartments and it was not possible if I don't use a system myself for myself I use notion and I will add a clip of me like the notion template that I use right here so you guys can use as well but notion is life savior it makes the apartment hunting process so easy and so organized and so enjoyable tip number three is pack a lot of tours in a few days so it's easier to compare easier to like have like everything like the pros and cons are still fresh in your mind so you can like weigh the apartments against each other and also like even though like I know it's gonna be it sounds tiring I I ended up going to 10 apartment tours in two days I know it's a lot but I had to because I didn't have the luxury like I don't live in LA I live in New York so I had to like have a make a five-day trip to LA so I had to pack everything within a few days possible because I would love to like make decisions sooner rather than later so I landed in LA on a Sunday and going to five tours and going to another five tours on Monday and making the decision on Tuesday I know it sounds crazy but I literally don't regret like packing all the tours in two days at all because it helped keep everything fresh in my mind and it's easier to compare apartments okay number four is I scheduled a tour back to back every other the hour like I schedule a tour two three four and five and you might think I'm crazy for that but actually the apartment tour don't take that long like each apartment only took like 15 or 20 minutes I just like schedule them an hour apart from each other so I have time to like ask questions if I want to and also I have time to like recap and like make give myself a mental break and give time to like for transportation from this apartment to other the tour itself only take 15 minutes 20 minutes max okay and this is this is some questions that I ask people doing the tours because I literally asked ChatGPT, hey ChatGPT, what questions should I ask while on tour? Okay, and the last tip is just trust your gut, okay? Like some places might have everything that you need, but if you not something is not feeling right about it because your gut knows better than your eyes or your nose or whatever or your brain, your gut is probably right. Trust your gut. Okay, I know this is a lengthy video and that's the end of it and I can't wait for you guys to comment down below your guesses on what which apartment I ended up going with. Can't wait! We got to have a crazy moving series this October, you guys. I'm going to be posting two YouTube uploads a week for this moving series. So I can't wait to share the whole journey with you guys and I can't emphasize enough how much I'm grateful for you guys because without you guys watching, supporting me, literally I would not be here. Like I would not be able to afford like a roof under my head wait what a roof over my head like this is only possible because you guys are here and you guys are supporting me so thank you so much for the support and if you're watching till here let's comment the word vision board okay vision board because the reason i want you guys to com comment vision board is because look at this this is my vision board and i feel like i've achieved mostly everything that is on this vision board if you can see followers youtube black but the only thing that i haven't achieved yet towards the end of the year is the this is the key to the picture of a person holding a key to their apartment and 
this is becoming true you guys we're getting there you guys like this is crazy so comment vision board so you guys know that if you guys have any visions any goals any dream of yours they're possible they're freaking possible don't let anyone tell you otherwise even though my, for the second four right now you might think that oh i don't have the resources i don't have the money but you'll figure it out don't stress about the house the how are you gonna get there or when are you gonna get there or oh, the only thing you just need to think is like you have faith in yourself faith in the trial timing of your life and the universe got your back and literally put in the work and everything that you ever dream up it will happen every day you wake up it's not always gonna be a good day but every day is a blessing i love you guys so much and comment vision board if still watching at this point and like subscribe to my youtube video okay bye bookie okay i love you Mwah. I love you so much. I love you extra, extra. I love you more. I love you AF. I love you more than your mother loves you. Um, actually, okay, bye.